Counsel for the Deputy President, do you have your technical person at the control? I, I wouldn't be able to establish at the moment. Please do confirm that your technical person is also in the control. Mr. Speaker, may I move to some other thing, then I'll proceed with the video later. I'm going to submit my turn of thought. Proceed, Council. Thank you so much. What do I want to say? Allow me to move to another limp, which is at paragraph 74 of your motion, and that is at page 36. It runs to page 37. Confirm, Mr. Mutuse, that in respect of ground 10, paragraph 74A and B are the two illustrations, the two particulars that you have given to prove that ground. Yes, in the motion, those are the two grounds. Let me start with the ground B. Paragraph B, rather. Confirm that you allege that His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa has influenced his family members, allies, associates, and proxies to take control of a local corporate society in Madeira, which they are financially hemorrhaging. Is that what the motion claims? It does claim it, so. Confirm that you have not given us the name or any evidence of that circle. Have you? Let us not have a war with one inch. To speak on our inch, we to Let us be empathetic. Let us, if people must move, let there be an engagement, and let people. Yeah, there is a problem up there. Okay, proceed, and then at the time you wish the video to be played, you will let us, the senators know. Proceed. Let us not have proceed. a war with one inch. The team at the control room. Let us be empathetic. Uh, let Secretary, us, can you move to the control room move, and tell them to let there be wait. an engagement? And confirm that you have no. Speak closer to the microphone, Honorable Mutusa. Speak closer to the microphone, please. We will be urging the Senate to uphold the impeachment. Mr. Mutusa, I'm asking a specific question on a specific allegation. It is your desire for these senators to impeach this deputy president on an allegation that he has, through his proxies, taken control of a cooperative society we don't know, isn't it? I have said I leave that to their decision. Is it your desire? Is that what you desire? You want some outcome from this process, you as the move of this motion. Is that what you want of this motion? What do you understand when I say I leave it to their decision? You have no right oh, to ask me any question. Says, just say yes or no. We move on. We make progress. Thank you. My, my apologies. Yes. Thank you so much for that comic moment. 
you have you also want this distinguished senate to find the deputy president to have taken over the control of this unknown circle now this is my element through undisclosed family members in indeed it is my desire that the motion is upheld Mr. Mutuse, Andre Mutuse, do you know the seriousness of the business that keeps us here? Very well. My apologies, I didn't get the answer. I didn't get the answer. I, I know. Thank you. You find this request for senators to find this deputy president guilty of taking over an undisclosed circle. A serious expectation on your part. Indeed. You also find your expectation for these senators to find the deputy president to use unknown family members to talk about that circle a serious expectation. Indeed. You take your work as a member of parliament seriously? Very seriously. You respect your constituents who brought you to this house? Very much. And you are, manifest you are manifesting that respect for your constituents by this expectation you have just mentioned here? In fact, the whole country is discussing my motion. I'm asking whether you are manifesting your respect for your constituents by the expectation you have just alluded to. In the totality of the No, no, no. I'm talking motion. about this particular fact. I'm dealing with a particular fact. In the totality of the motion. Yes. My question is, your expectation for this Senate to find the DP culpable on allegations of undisclosed family members of an undisclosed circle. That allegation, you are manifesting your respect for your constituents through that allegation. Yes. Thank you. Paragraph A alleges that His Excellency Grigade Gashagwa has connived with cartels in the tea sector to block the Kenya Tea Development Agency from implementing guaranteed minimum returns that would benefit smallholder tea farmers. Is that the allegation? Indeed. Have you given us in this motion or in the supporting evidence the name of any cartel? No. Have you given us in this motion or in the supporting evidence the grievance or the complaint by the Kenya Tea Development Agency? No. This is also part of your expression of respect for your constituents. Indeed. It is also part of the seriousness with which you take this motion. Indeed. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, may I now move to the video 10 and 10A. Let's start with 10 first. Tatu ya kayole Tangu mutupatia nafasi ya uongozi Sija pata nafasi ya kuja kusema asanti Na tatu kutoka kwa roho yangu Dani watu ya kayole asante ni sana Mimi najua Nimiona hiko shida ya watu Ambaye walibomolewa Sindio Na nimeona mumeandika vizuri ya kwamba muteue kamati ya watu wachache. Dio mukuje niketi na nyinyi. Just pause there. Mutakubaliana. Pause there. Up that time, the deputy president is suggesting that he needs the, the people, the citizens there to have a small committee to have an engagement with him. True or not true? True. Is there anything wrong with that claim by the deputy president? There is nothing wrong with Let's proceed. Mimi ningetaka wale watu ambaye walipata shida hii ya upomoaji ambaye ni kitu tulikuwa tumeahidi wananchi haitafanyika kwa serikali yetu. 
Mimi ningetaka niwasikize na nitapanga na mheshimiwa Meja Dong wakuje ndio tukue na nafasi ya kuongea. Let's pause there. Tumekubaliana. The deputy president is saying he wants to listen to those people so that together they can talk. Is that the, what he's saying? Ambayo ni kitu hatukua tumehaidi haitafanyika kwa serikali yetu. No, no, you didn't get my question, Mr. Mutuse. Please be a good listener just as to answer my questions. The deputy president is saying he wants those to, to, to sit with the Honorable Madong, I didn't get the name right, and those people so they can sit and talk. Is that what he's saying? In context, yes, that's part of it. Is there anything wrong with that statement? There's nothing wrong with people sitting. The deputy president is also saying that they had promised during the campaigns that they will not be demolishing people's structures. Is that what he's saying? Yes, he's saying that. Is there anything wrong in that promise? There is nothing wrong in that promise. As an active member of the Kenyan political space, is he lying that there was such a promise? I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Let's proceed. Tumekubaliana. Tumekubaliana. Watu ya kayone. Let me have Let us time. not have a war with one inch. Let's stop there. The deputy president is saying, let us not have war with the Wanainji. Do you find anything offensive in that statement? There is nothing offensive. Thank you. Let us not have a war with Wanainji. To speak on Wanainji while we are to Chagua, let us be empathetic. Let's stop there. Let us. He is calling for empathy towards Wanainji. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. Do you find anything offensive in that call? It is the forum where he's saying it. Do you have anything wrong with that call for empathy? I have a problem with the forum. Where no, no, you're answering your own question. I'm asking whether you have a problem with the call for empathy. My allegation is that he had forum. I've asked whether you have a cabinet. problem with his call for empathy. Please answer my question. He would have said as much in cabinet. Please answer my question. Do you have a problem with a call for empathy? I have no problem with the call for empathy other than... Let me before. move to the next question. Do you have a problem with a deputy president calling for empathy in public? I have no problem other than the forum. You ha what forum was that, by the way? This is, appears to be a press conference. What law prohibits a pre deputy president from calling for empathy at a press conference? The law is that he will raise all those issues in cabinet. Which once, law prohibits once. a deputy president from calling for empathy at a press conference? It, there is no law that prohibits a deputy Thank you so much. Let's make progress with empathy. the playing of the video. If people must move, let there be an engagement. Thank you so much. What is wrong with that statement? If people must move, let there be an engagement. What is wrong with it? There is, no, there is nothing wrong with having engagement. Thank you. You are a lawyer, you say it? Yes. You know the principle of public participation? Indeed. It's actually what the deputy, the deputy president is addressing. The deputy president is saying, let's have an engagement. That is consistent with the constitutional principle of public participation. True or not true? Well, that's you saying so. The deputy president is saying, let's have an engagement. Is that consistent with or inconsistent with the constitutional principle of public participation? Engagement and public participation may mean different things at different levels. The deputy president is saying, let us have an engagement. I'm asking whether that is consistent with or inconsistent with the principle of public participation. As again, as I said, we would imagine before a policy goes to cabinet, it has also been taken through public participation. Did you, did you engage you sit, in public participation? And if you sit in cabinet, you raise objections to that policy. And if your objections are upheld, the policy falls. Which if part of this statement by the Deputy President? If your objections... Sorry, I'm not asking the question. Yes. Which part of this statement calling for empathy violates a policy decision of Cabinet? We have, uh, we, we have, we have the affidavit of Masi Wanjao that clearly shows that the Cabinet adopted a position on that Did the Cabinet adopt a resolution for an empathetic evictions the deputy president was in cabinet he is the one who better placed to tell us what you are the move of this motion and we are testing the deputy president's statements against your allegation Indeed. did cabinet adopt a resolution for unempathetic evictions the cabinet adopted a resolution did cabinet adopt a resolution for unempathetic evictions yes or no a resolution for empathetic 
evictions. And the DP here is calling for empathetic evictions from what we have heard. So not true? True. So that is consistent with the cabinet resolution. True or not true? Uh, semantics. 